The past few days has witnessed a vicious cycle of attacks on different Irigwe villages of Zangwa, Njetahu, Mayanga, Dundu, and Jebumiango of Basa local government area Plateau State, where suspected militia have consistently invaded the communities as residents flee for safety. Jebu Miango, one of the affected communities, can best be described as a ghost town, as residents have abandoned their houses, which were looted and set on fire by their assailants, who laid siege in the dead of the night and wreaked havoc. The situation, it was very, very bad, to the extent that everybody had to run for his life. My house was totally raised down. Two people have been killed, born beyond recognition. You know, we don't really know. We thought we had people to assist us. The security were very unfortunate. I think they did their best, but it's like it overpowered them. And uh, as I'm speaking now, uh, the the statistic as as to the houses that were raised to the roof, they are, they are more than 25. And uh, we are because this, the, the, some of the houses were burnt inside, and it didn't affect the roof. So they are now taking the statistics. Put together, we are not getting less than 50 houses around there. Following this troubling situation, Governor Simon Lalong summoned an emergency security council meeting of members of the State Executive Council, Plateau Council of Traditional Rulers, security chiefs, as well as other stakeholders. The Plateau State Commissioner of Police, after a closed-door meeting with the stakeholders, reels out the matching order to rid the area of all criminal elements. The reprisal that came did not warrant the level of destruction we are witnessing now. The leaders will be arrested. There are records of leaders that are on bail from government temporarily, and some of them have been fingered in these present attacks. Nobody will be spared. Human life is sacrosanct. Nobody can take it at will. There is a government on ground and it will not be accepted. No doubt the situation in the affected communities needs urgent attention as residents have been displaced and their means of livelihood destroyed. Perhaps all they expect now from the government is to walk the talk to restore the peace.